consistently, at least every year, the common point is, is that, that it's a very competitive residency to get into. There's only uh, 17 spots across the country, and um, they're usually a two to one ratio uh, in terms of applicants or number of uh, spots available. We think if medical students uh, are considering this as a career path, that it, that it would be in their best interest to try and uh, line up some elective experience uh, so that they are exposed to us, but equally importantly, that we are exposed to them. So when it comes time to uh, apply to the CARMS match, uh, that they are a known quantity and especially that seems to be triggering a tremendous amount of, amount of enthusiasm and excitement amongst the medical school group. It is a competitive specialty and, um, and so uh, knowing that I had to do all my electives in urology and, uh, and nephrology and uropathology, uroradiology, things that would be uh, beneficial for, uh, for uh, making myself a competitive candidate. I think it's very important if you're interested in urology um, to do electives um, and to really to do them across the country. Um, urology is a fairly small discipline in Canada. Uh, there aren't that many uh, residency programs and I think uh, in order to uh, maximize the chances of being accepted to one of those programs I think it's important to try and visit as many as you can uh, to see what the strengths and weaknesses of each of the programs are and and to get to know the people who will make the decisions about uh, who is going to be accepted into their program. Well, they have to be nice people that know everything. That's the first thing. Um, but seriously, go ahead. Uh, eat there. Seriously, I think um, they have to be resilient because five years of surgical training is a bit taxing on one's sanity. And when we select residents, uh, we want them to get along with the others. They have to be part of the team. It's very important that they're going to share the work, work as a team. Well, I think that the residents have input into which medical students are accepted to the program. And it's not just uh, the, what, what the staff people on the selection committee see. Or the size of your CV, eh? Or the size of your CV, then um, it also depends on how well you get along with the other residents. Which isn't very hard to do. <laughs> if there's any option uh, available uh, to the medical student to, to do some research, um, even something as simple as a case report, I think it strengthens their application and it really, uh, I think, then speaks uh, very favorably to their commitment to uh, wanting to get into a residency program. So we really try and encourage uh, prospective applicants to get involved that way. It's something as a medical student, I don't think you realize that urology, you, you know, the competition doesn't, doesn't end when you get into residency. You're still, you know, you still need to do projects. You still need to be on top of the game and, and, uh, and uh, make yourself a, a good uh, applicant for a, a job down the road. So. Uh, there's still more hoops to jump through when you when you get to our level. Toby and I aren't really friends. We're competitive. <laughs> That's right.